Hello everybody. Now let's just、uh, take a quick view over the latest version of Seagate firmware repair program from Dolphin Data Lab. Now let's check.、Uh, we have found out that latest version of this Seagate is the V version 1.7. So from this version,、uh, we have entered the program and we can find out. The Seagate hard drives work in two modes. So one mode is the COM mode we can see here, and the other mode is the ATM mode. For ATM mode, that means the hard drive must get ready, and we can work within the ATM mode. But for busy drives, we need to work within the COM mode, that also called the terminal mode. So、I have connected one、uh, Seagate laptop momentous hard drive to the DFL SRP、uh, firmware repair equipment. Now I power on the hard drive. After power on the hard drive, we can find the hard drive feedback, the terminal output here. So we can see SATA reset. Usually, when we see this one, we see the SATA reset. Uh, the hard drive data error is usually accessible. That means this hard drive doesn't have firmware failure. If the hard drive has firmware failure, we will find out find out the firmware related output from this terminal. So it's very important, and it's also one very basic knowledge for users to read. The terminal output from the tool. Now let's try to enter the program and see what what new functions Dolphin team have added to this program. So we can select the F3 family, the latest family、uh, of Seagate hard drives. Now the hard drive ID information have been detected. So here we can check the ID details, the head number, the capacity model, serial number, and the firmware version,、uh, the COM mode. After entering the program, users can still work within the COM mode. Modernist. Actually, for CD hard drives, only several important firmware modules. Including the module three, so this is the pianist. This one is the most important firmware module for CD hard drives. Usually, we just need to back up this module and back up the ROM. Here, the ROM. We need to read the ROM. So these two, the ROM module and the module three. Then we can manage to get the data back if. The hard drive doesn't have physical damage. If the hard drive has physical damages, then、uh, we need to handle the physical damage first, and then come to fix the firmware failures. Then we can get the lost data back. Okay, let's see what functions we have here.、Uh, so for this is the common repair solutions. Uh, this is one of the biggest reasons people select Dolphin Data Recovery Tools because it's very easy to use. People just need to have some simple clicks to fix the hard drive firmware failures. Users can、uh, find out the error messages from the terminal, from the COM terminal from here. And when they see the error messages, then Users can select the solutions accordingly. So it's very easy to use these functions to fix the Seagate hard drives. After fixing these firmware failures, then we go to the DFL DDP, the DFL DDP module to get the data back. So this is the common repair solutions, the quick solutions.
LBA to CHS. Here, users can find the heat map editing in RAM. ID editing in RAM. This one is very important for drives with weak heads or even for drives with scratched errors. So this kind of drives you need to edit the ID or edit a head map in RAM. So this one uh, very important ROM operations. User can read, write ROM, or users can generate the adaptive ROM after the head swap. Users need to, you know, mostly. Uh, to generate the adaptive ROM and write to make the new heads more compatible with the data drives. So this is the firmware error. Users can have a lot of options to operate on the uh, firmware error. Actually for Seagate, the most important firmware operations are the SYS read and write. So this one is very important to read and write the SYS files. And for defects management, users have a lot of options too, especially in the uh, translator option to fix the sector uh, access issue automatically or manually. Angelist, these functions are often uh, used as well, and also the playlist editing. Because some of the functions here are used for Seagate, hard drive refurbishing. So uh, when users are trying to use the Seagate firmware repair program, it's very necessary and important for users to divide the functions into two groups. One group of function is for data recovery and the other group of functions are for uh, hard drive refurbishing. So these are the new functions contained within the latest version of the Figit Firmware Repair Program. Thank you for watching this video. Dolphin Support Team.